In this video, I prepared for you guys a bunch of Blender modeling add-ons that you probably missed. From modeling, fixing topology, and operations like bending and attaching objects and meshes. In addition to interesting things like creating complicated ornaments on the fly. First of all, if you are new to Blender, I invite you to check the best Blender add-ons for modeling like Box Cutter and Hard Ops from Team C, and add-ons like Kid Ops from Chip Walters, also Mesh Machine from Machine and Cable Raider from Sergei Kritsky, in addition to Fluent from CG Thought and add-ons of Koshiro CG and Mark Kingsnorth, just to name a few, and I will leave links to videos about them in the description down below. But before we continue, I want to let you guys know that the Super Hive Market is having a sale right now with discounts on thousands of products, including add-ons, procedural geometry note tools, courses, material packs, you name it. And if you don't know where to start, I have in the description of this video a list of some of the best add-ons and courses out there. Without further ado, let's jump right in. With that out of the way, let's start with Boolean Quite Ready, which is an add-on that makes Blender's Boolean operations way less messy. But how does it do that? Well, it automatically remeshes your model into a clean quad-based topology before and after Booleans so you don't end up with those ugly triangulated cuts. This is super helpful for hard surface work, for cleaning up CAD imports or hard surface imports from other software, which in turn ensures the boolean results come out in neat quads for easy editing. It is basically a quick fix that applies a whole stack of modifiers to prep your mesh, even offering options to reduce unnecessary geometry and auto wrapping UVs for you. The next add-on I want to talk about is called Ensolve. From Team C, the developers of Box Cutter and Hard Ops. It is basically a collection of tools aimed at solving common modeling problems and speeding up the workflow. And it actually bundles three main tool sets and solve, which is a mesh toolkit with eight interactive modes for various topology fixes and tweaks. There is also Ensuite, which is an edit mode micro toolkit with about 11 handy operations, and Mflow, which is a re topology toolkit with preset blocks to rebuild topology. In practice, this means Unsolve can help with things like merging and cleaning up topology after booleans, and quickly adding or removing loops, aligning things, and other operations that usually require multiple manual steps. There is also an interesting add-on called Solidify Plus, which is basically the Solidify modifier on steroids. But what's the difference? Well, it takes Blender's default Solidify and adds a ton of extra control and features to it. With it, you can generate clean rim loops on the edges of your solidified mesh, and you get full control over how these new edges behave, including set increased values and bevel weights for perfect sharpness, and it even supports custom profile shapes or extrusion, meaning you can define the contour of the thickness instead of just a straight extrusion. Another perk, it can preserve UVs on the rim and uses an organized geometry node setup to keep everything non-destructive. There is also Simple Bend Axe, which is an upgraded and more powerful take on the classic Simple Bend tool. It makes blending a part of your mesh really easy. You just select the faces that you want to bend, run the tool, and adjust the angle. And the add-on figures out the bend axis automatically from the selection. Unlike the older version, the add-on handles any operation on the fly, even if your object is rotated weirdly in space, and it can still bend correctly without you fiddling around with the alignments. But it also has some extras, like the ability to extend the length of the bend region and shift where along the length the bend happens. And you can even enable slicing, which automatically cuts the mesh during the bend for cleaner geometry transitions. Another interesting add-on is called Quick Attach, which helps you to instantly stick one mesh onto another and merging them without any hassle. Imagine you have a detailed piece and you want to attach it on a curved surface of another model. The add-on does exactly that on the go. You select the surface of the object that you want to attach, then the target face on the main object, and hit attach. And the add-on will position and orient the piece to match the surface, even conforming it if needed. In addition, it automatically handles things like rotation alignment, offset distance, and even merges the geometry by connecting edges and removing faces for cleaner results. Now, let me tell you about Resample Mesh, which is a geometry tweaking toolkit, meaning it lets you reshape topology with smart interpolation and other things. In practice, 
It means you can smooth out bumpy areas or reduce poly count in a controlled way, thanks to its unique remeshing function, which can interpolate new vertices along curves. And the add-on comes with a bunch of handy tools, like the ability to smooth, distribute, connect, and other functions. All these operations are designed to be precise and easy to use, and honestly, they get the job done. Boolean bevel, as you can imagine, is all about getting those niche beveled edges on Boolean cuts. Basically, it helps you to do those smooth, filtered Boolean unions and intersections, which are otherwise hard to achieve. The interesting thing is that this add-on was inspired by fancy tools like Moto's Mesh Fusion and Maya's Hard Mesh, which will let you bend objects together with proper bevels for subdivision surfaces. So you can stack objects, cut them out, and it will create clean transition bevels where they intersect, and while keeping the history, so you can adjust the bevel width or profile later, and it works best on a dense, evenly subdivided mesh. Expert curve modeling is another interesting one. It's a toolkit that lets you model using Bezier curves, in a way that maintains beautiful topology. It is like having a specialized workflow where you draw out curves to form your model, and the add-on handles converting those into meshes with clean quads and good shading. It also provides multiple working modes for controlling vertices, curves, segments, and the whole model, and each one with a suited function. So you can do things like extrude surfaces from curves, bridge curve segments together, fill areas with curve patches, and so on. And the goal is to let you create complex organic or stylized shapes via curves while avoiding the usual topology nightmares. Projection modeling, on the other hand, introduces a unique workflow where you use 2D shapes to drive the creation of 3D models. Essentially, you draw profiles using curves or even mesh outlines, and then project them to form a 3D volume, which you can adjust in real time. This is incredibly useful for making complex forms, which would be difficult to poly model from scratch. You can combine multiple projections from different angles or planes, and the atom will merge them into one final object, allowing for very creative shapes that conform to drawn plans or blueprints. It is like building models as you are drawing them. This is great for conceptual pieces, low-poly assets, or even high-detail components that need to match a specific design reference. Ornament Generator is a really interesting add-on, especially for quickly adding decorative details and intricate designs to your models. It basically comes with a massive library of pre-made ornament pieces. The full version includes over 260 handcrafted ornaments, stored into various categories like floral patterns, geometric designs, gothic elements, etc. And this helps you actually to browse them. Using it is straightforward. You mark out where you want the ornament of your model, for example, select a loop of edges around the frame or region of the surface, and hit Generate Ornament. The animal will place and conform the chosen ornament to your mesh, merging it nicely by removing any hidden faces and blending edges. And then you can make complex objects with complex scroll work, trims, or architectural details that would take hours to model by hand. Another one is called Angle Tool, which is a really handy add-on for creating perfect corners and bends out of a cross-sectional shape. The idea is simple but powerful. You take a profile of some geometry, say like an L-shaped cross-section of something like a molding or the shape of a pile, select an edge to act as a corner's pivot, and the add-on will spin that profile around the edge to form a nice clean corner piece. It automates what would normally take a multi-step process, I mean extruding and rotating then bridging. But with this add-on, you literally select and click get 90 degrees bend, or any angle that you want of your geometry. You can imagine using it for things like quickly turning a section of railings or trim around a corner, or making an elbow joint for tubing, without manually wrestling vertices. On the other hand, Smart Loops Toolkit is a collection of loop editing tools that can speed up how you can handle edge loops in addition to topology cleanups. For example, with this add-on you can add extra loops or remove loops across a mesh in a controlled way, which is great for changing mesh resolution on the fly. It also includes tools to fix angles by inserting loops to resolve them, or slide loops into better positions, and even a one-click strengthen for loops or face strips that will align them perfectly straight in addition to many other things that come with this add-on. And there you have it, guys. If you are interested in these add-ons, you will find all the necessary links in the description. Also, if you like this video, please give it a thumbs up, 
and subscribe to the channel to receive more videos like this. Thank you very much for watching and I will see you in the next one.